Okay, listen, I'm a man of my word. You are? I'm wearing the Speedo tomorrow, one time, Without pants. one time only, and that's it. Without pants. Without pants. Hello, all out for was integrity. That is the pressure that our BT viewers put on him because I know they flooded his Twitter, they flooded their Facebook, the Speedo Gate page, that is all you, and of course the uh, readers of the Metro newspaper as well. Thanks for putting that in. You know, public pressure, people demand. We need to also just let viewers know uh, shortly after 8, there will be an appearance of a red Speedo gifted to you from Breakfast what, Television. What are you? Are you like some kind of, are you a mind reader? I am. Because, hey, I just got a package from the people up in Vancouver and I yeah. was going to open it. He it's already opened. What is it? Uh, Why is it not oh. on your body? How did you know? Because How did oh, you wait know a minute. So you me? put it on wait and took it off we and can show it we, to us? How did we, you know it was a red speedo? We Canadians have this tele telepathy thing going you on. You Canadians are in cahoots. How did you know it was a red speedo, Michaela? It's a Canadian. What color is it going to be? Uh, i got to wear this at 815. Can't wait. I yeah. really can't. I'm looking forward to it myself. The end of my career coming up at 815. Poor Mrs. Lodge. Go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Hey, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just Dreams might come true. Do come true. Oh man, I can't wait to see this, sort of. <laughs> Mark Ogden, it's time for the dramatic conclusion of what we call a Speedo Gate. Wait for it. There's the dramatic music, and there's the even more dramatic graphic Roger Lodge and the Canucks scandal. It was Breakfast Television versus KTLA, Roger Lodge a part of Sports Lodge, which is connected to Los Angeles Morning Show, and joining us. Before, actually, before we go to Roger, let's take a look at the original bet in case you missed it to see the stakes. If you want to be a man about this bet, let's do it, and let's do it right, Come brother. On. Here's the bet. Oh, okay. If the Kings eliminate the, the Vancouver Canucks, you need to come back yeah, on this show, it. and you need to show up wearing yes. only a Speedo. Oh. Uh, here he goes. Vancouver, <laughs> if Vancouver defeats the L.A. Kings and eliminates them, then I'll show up on this show, and I will be wearing only a Speedo. <gasps> Mm, only a speedo. Oof. So those only. were the stakes. A lot of backlash has come about since Monday. Roger said he wouldn't do it, but now we've got Roger via satellite from Los Angeles. Roger Lodge, <laughs> good morning. Oh, that's quite the pretty Red color. Red looks great on you, man. Okay, there's the speedo right there because you know what? Oh. I am a man of my word. I'm a man of my word, and hey, God bless your Canucks. They took out the Kings. So, so congratulations to all of you. But you know, I'm happy for a couple of reasons. Because as the former host of Blind Date, I'm a big fan of Swedish twins. And the Sedin brothers, nobody better than that in, the, in hockey right now. They play terrific. And also, I'm a big fan of goaltenders who choke late in the late rounds of the playoffs, like your, uh, like your goalie's probably going to do against the Blackhawks. Oh. So congratulations for beating the Kings. <laughs> but you're going to go down in the next round against the Chicago Blackhawks. And by the way, this red Speedo that I'm wearing right now is currently running completely up my butt. I just want you guys to be aware of that right now. <laughs> this is the most uncomfortable moment in the history of my so-called career. And by the way, the end of my career, all in one segment right here. Both of our careers were on the line with this, Roger. I commend you for coming on camera, although you did say nothing but a Speedo, but not on I <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, no. Look, oh, no, there's the gone, Speedo, all right? There it is. <laughs> okay. That's as far as I'm going. All Meanwhile, right. the, because the more I, I reveal the Speedo, the godfather of, the godfather of entertainment here, uh, Sam Rubin, gets more excited. So I have to stop doing it. <laughs> you know, I got to Because I don't want to drive Sam too crazy. I got to give you some respect that you even, you know, pulled the Speedo out at all because I myself was very concerned about sitting next to my co-host with only a thin layer of spandex between us. That was scary. You know... There's something wildly sensual about a Speedo. Me, myself, I don't think I'm able to pull that off, but, uh, but there's something crazy about a Speedo. But hey, seriously, congratulations to your Canucks. I mean, my goodness, you guys were down two games to one against the LA Kings in our building, and we weren't able to close that out. You guys got four goals in the third period uh, of that game. We should have just did the Speedo after that because I didn't think there was any way whatsoever the Kings, the young Kings team, would recover from that, and they didn't. And now you guys move on. So good luck against the Chicago Blackhawks. Y you guys got the rematch that you wanted from last year. Well, you know, Roger, we have a little gift for you. We, you know, we didn't want to oh, come up empty-handed. We do have a gift for you because yes. you really came through with this bet. And so 
we've decided to give you some good old fashioned maple syrup, which by the way, in a pinch for us Canadians, that can work as waxing. And if you really like, you know, that thong so much, next time you go on a holiday, feel yeah. free. <laughs> you know, it's really <laughs> funny because when I first came out here to do this whole Speedo thing, I was very nervous about it and very uncomfortable. But the more I sit here with a Speedo running up my rear end, I'm starting to get turned on. Oh, that's not that, Roger Lodge. <laughs> Roger Lodge, live from LA, you are a man of your word. Thank you very much for being a good sport. Go Lakers, go buddy. Cheers to you, man. All right, go Canucks, baby. We'll take that. Roger Lodge. Very good. Big round of applause for that man. Very good sport. Speedway can rest. It is officially over. Now, do you think we need to play some Baywatch music the next time we play that in slow motion, maybe towards the end of the show? Perhaps? I don't think anyone no? needs to see that in slow motion. <laughs> that would be a scary thing. <laughs> 638 Nish. Respect to Roger Lodge. He did it. Yeah, and he, you know, said some very nice thing about our Vancouver Canucks, too. Except for the second Swedish. round thing. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah. Swedish twins. No, Swedish I'm twins. impressed. He's yeah. back in my good books. I gotta give him some respect. We've had a few people on Facebook say, you know, he was supposed to go all the way and we're nothing but a speedo, but I you don't know really what? I don't care to push the man. I don't want to push the guy too, because you could have been in that very situation. To see all that. You know, I was actually at game four and called my brother up. Uh, he's the host of How to Look Good Naked Canada. We were planning something because there's gotta be a payoff in a bet like that. And yeah, it would have been embarrassing. So kudos to Roger for actually coming through. And yeah, he, he didn't go uh, completely nude like, he, like yeah. he said he would just with the Speedo. But you know what? He came through. But so would you have actually worn the Speedo uh, in the some Speedo form? The Speedo would have been worn yeah, in yeah. some form. We'd have to do it, yeah. Well, you know what? A lot of people have a lot of uh, opinions about Speedos. So we thought we'd hit the streets and find out if you would wear a Speedo. Would you ever wear a Speedo? Definitely not. Not likely. My dad's favorite, favorite outfit, though. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely no. Depends on their body. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Phelps does it. Maybe do a little bit of manscaping first. It's a bit disturbing. I don't think it's cool for a guy to wear a Speedo in any way, shape, or form. I'm not a Speedo guy anymore. And not if I have anything to say about it. I'd go naked, but I wouldn't wear one. I'm from Nelson, man. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Let's Doesn't matter if you're from track. Nelson, but Mayor Gregor Robinson anymore? That used to be the if attire you have before. pictures <laughs> of Mayor Gregor Robinson no, wearing a Speedo, oh. keep those. we don't want to see it. Keep those to yourself. <laughs> go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Go Canucks, go! Yeah. You're watching Breakfast Stellar. Yes, an itsy witsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini. Speedo's on the line. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, it is time for the conclusion of... Speedo Gates, Roger Lodge versus Breakfast Television. A little friendly bet we had with KTLA Morning News over in Los Angeles. Roger Lodge was on our show early, 6.30 today. I just had the chance to go over to KTLA and the hosts, they weren't lining up easy. Here's what happened. Did Roger actually wear the Speedo? Stalling. The dramatic suspense. Sports Here it is. All right. Oh, oh, we're oh. oh, we didn't even have a chance to avert our eyes. Get right to it and get it over with. There's your speedo, Buckley. And don't tell me I'm not a man of my word. But wait, Riaz, uh, Meg G, the co-host of Breakfast Television, joins us now, too. And, and Riaz, I don't know Ooh. if you got the flash in the same sort of uh, yeah. full frontal the way we yeah, did. Yeah. Were, you, were you able to see that? You no, know, no, I saw. Okay, uh, yeah, okay Riaz? Yes. The oxygen tank? Why? Why, Roger? What Why? is that? Hey, Riaz, Riaz, what you is on your bet, computer Riaz. screen? That was your doing, Riaz. We all had to pay. This, this is Roger's doing. Side. Roger brought it on himself. Hey, Riaz. Roger brought this on himself. Hey. I asked for the Laker Girls. Hey, real quickly, though. The Laker hey. I, I have a gift for you. You know, when we made this bet, you asked for some maple syrup. We already sent it to Roger because Roger came on our show. We got a can of nice Canadian maple Yay! syrup coming your way because we're good sports here in Canada. Aww. You can share that with Frank, Mark, and Ginger, too. Share it with the whole crew. Speedo gate is over. Roger Lodge comes through. Where's that Speedo? I know it's in green in your heads now. We'll have all those clips, by the way, on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca, in case you want to watch it over. That was fun. Over. Let's focus on hockey again. now. Hawks and the Canucks this weekend. Let's go round two.